everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So for today's video, we are in Strangerville, you guys. We are doing a home renovation, or I guess you would call it a trailer renovation. So this is actually on one of the new lots that I am pretty positive you guys have all seen. So it's actually this really adorable little community lot and it has like a one residential spot on it. So one thing that I was a little bit disappointed in with Strangerville in this was all of these campers and trailers that we actually cannot use. So there is one that's like on the other side of the trailer park that has like some chairs and a table and they're actually functional. So you can go over and bother the neighbors, but you cannot use the camper. So I would have liked to have seen like, even if they weren't able to let us actually go in the like, in the trailers i wish that you could use them the same way as you could with a tent like even if you could click on a camper and like just have a sleep i think that would even be super cute and being able to actually like add them into our builds even if they're in debug <laughs> So yeah, this home was not occupied. Nobody was living here, but it definitely had the vibe of somebody that maybe was doing a little bit of snooping around here in Strangerville. So I wasn't really in the mood to do like a grungy or like a messy build. And I have seen a lot of people renovate this trailer or like mini home already. And I have seen the majority of them kind of went with like the conspiracy theorist kind of build, I guess. And I just really wanted to play around with some of the new build items that we have gotten because I have not done a build yet, you guys. I really went all in with gameplay for this pack release and if you guys have been here for a while, you know that's usually not what I do, but I did find for this game pack in particular, it was so like strong with the story that I definitely had to do that. And it's kind of motivated me as well that when like packs come out in the future to attempt to do like more of the like even a mini series so you guys i hope we have like university next <laughs> definitely freaking hoping for university i have so many plans so many ideas and i feel like the build and buy menu in like university pack would be freaking amazing like one of my all-time favorite packs is definitely parenthood it was another game pack but I do feel like it definitely had kind of like a Tumblr kind of vibe to it that like even the beds and like the kitchen counters, everything was just so pretty. And it's definitely like one of my most used item packs. Like when I do builds, most of the items that I really like definitely come from that pack. So I do for sure feel if we were to get a university expansion, cause I know if university was to come, it would definitely be in an expansion. It wouldn't be like a stuff pack or even a game pack. And I feel like it would be so full of like Tumblr and just really pretty things to build with. I don't even know how I got on that topic. <laughs> but um, yeah, so when I was doing this trailer in particular, you guys, I really wanted to see if I could do one of these smaller homes. I used to do tiny home builds all the freaking time on my channel. And I just, I never really, haven't really did one for a while. I've definitely been in the groove of doing like apartment makeovers, which I definitely need to like do more of them as well. So I was a little bit held up because I actually went ahead and updated my editing program. <laughs> Finally, I've been having like so many computer problems and I really have a really good, like I've really kind of invested in my computer. So when it comes to having problems, like it really drives me insane. So I went ahead and I was like updating my graphics card. I updated my photo, or not my photo editing, my video editing program. And without thinking about it, you guys, I lost all of my like already edited videos. <laughs> so I'm like trying not to panic because I'm really not feeling that well. I did film 100 Baby for Wednesday. And you guys, I felt so miserable. And that episode was even like, it was like half as long as most of my builds. And I like didn't want to say anything in the episode, but I was like, I think I was like coming down with a fever and I'm still like not feeling that good. So I did actually already film 100 Baby. And I can honestly say like, I'm just not feeling myself. <laughs> so even in that video, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to post it. Like I'm just under the weather, I guess. So. Having to refilm the voiceover for this video in particular, I'm like, oh my gosh, 
trying to like not repeat anything that I've already said. So if I do, that's kind of why. And um, yeah, so back to the build, one of the things that I really liked with Strangerville that I do feel like a lot of people overlooked is that some of the base game swatches for siding, they've actually went ahead and finally updated them. So I don't know why, um, I like I kind of feel like a lot of those things should probably start getting updated more regularly, especially because like a lot of the most recent packs are so vibrant and so full of like really good textures and they're just, I don't know, completely different graphics I find if you compare even like jungle adventure textures of the roofing to like the base game stuff. It's like night and day. So the siding that I used on this home, originally the yellow, I never used it. It was more of like an off-white I found. Like when you used it on a home, it just did not pop. And I find when you want to build a yellow home, like I do not use custom content. And I definitely considered using custom content a couple of times just to get what you guys are seeing for this just really bright sunflower yellow home. So I have so many other ideas that I want to use for this bright yellow. I feel like these cute little yellow homes are just so adorable and they look so cute for like family homes. But for today, we did something a little bit smaller. <laughs> so along with that update and updating the color swatches, you guys, they also did include a couple new swatches as well. And there is this really Oh my gosh, I tried to say pretty in purple. <laughs> um, there is this really pretty light purple, kind of like a lilac or a really soft lavender kind of shade. And I really wanna get in game and really use that for a larger home as well. So I have so many ideas. And now that the Strangerville mini series is done, I can finally sit down in the evenings, you guys, and work on some builds because I've really missed it. I find sometimes I go in these spurts where I build like so many things that I really have to like space it out so I don't like overwhelm my channel. <laughs> and then other times I'm like rather sit down and just do like gameplay. There's like no happy medium, but I have been also starting to stream you guys a lot more often over on Twitch where I am gonna start doing some like live building streams. So if you guys use Twitch, if you like The Sims, definitely head over to Twitch and give me a follow. It's the same username. I also have a link in the description, Kristen Marie XO. So I thought it would just kind of be fun to, like when I have to do a build, I mean not every build, cause sometimes I just do builds in the evening when I have to be quiet. <laughs> but sometimes when I am gonna be streaming, I definitely will be working on some builds that I will be posting on the channel for like a speed build later on. And I also do have a couple of Let's Play series. I have Wags to Ridges and I do have Not So Berry, but I've been thinking about starting a new series over there as well. So if you guys have any challenges that you might like to see me do over there, or that are your favorites just to kind of play, let me know because I've kind of been looking for different challenges. I really want to see a Strangerville challenge. I know that somebody will be coming up with something to do with Strangerville and challenges. I just, I can't come up with one. <laughs> I played the story and I'm like, I have no freaking idea, but um, this home, you guys, I did try to save this in the gallery, but I think I was having glitching my whole entire computer. You guys, I almost had a breakdown today. Not going to lie. My editing program, like I said, just, I had to update it completely had to learn how to use like a new program. And then my streaming wasn't working and my, I could go on. <laughs> Nothing was working. So my mind and myself seems a little bit scatterbrained, you guys. I am like all over the place right now. But I did try to save this home in particular in my library. But for some reason, this was glitching as well. It was showing that this home cost like $1 short of a million simoleons. It was like nine, I don't know. It was, it was ridiculous and it was showing that um, everything was red, like it was showing that I didn't use any packs. So I am gonna try to upload this into the gallery for you guys. And if you did enjoy today's build, as always, make sure to give this video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know you guys did enjoy. And hopefully I'm gonna see you all next time. Bye guys.